Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, part 7 tutorial related to RQDA. So here we will see how to create a file uh, with RQDA. In this uh, section we will see uh, many things which is actually related to the menu. So we will see how to import a file, we will see how to create a new file, rename a file, delete a file, uh, open a file and create a file memo. So let's start. Uh, basically, uh, when we have RQDA open, uh, here you see I've opened the test new project RQDA. So that was a file that I created and that is completely empty. So basically, you will need first to add files. You have to understand what is files. So for instance, if you do an interview, a file is like one interview. So do not mistake, for instance, if you ask uh, uh, seven questions in the interview, I, I would recommend you to put all the seven interviews on the same files. So like a file is one person. But you know, uh, qualitative analysis, even if I'm talking a lot about the example of interviews, is not only interviews. For instance, one file can also be a interview, uh, sorry, a, a newspaper article. Or one file can be a sci scientific article. Or it can be anything else that is related to text. It can be the passage of a book. It could be uh, a text of a website. It can be anything uh, that is uh, different, not only interviews for sure. So how to create a new file? You have many choice. Let's start with the uh, new button. So you just press on new and then you have to enter the text. So I will just write some random text. It's the famous lorem ipsum. So let's say that this is a text and I just want to enter this text. And then I have two choice, save to project and save and close. So this is if I want only to, to close this project and this bottom is if I want to add another one. So you just press on this one first and then a new window opens here and ask me uh, the name of the, the title. So I will just write a uh, first uh, file. For sure, I let you choose the name. And once again, I don't recommend you to write any uh, space or any characters that have accents such as this one. So you can press on OK. I just recommend you. So this is really not a good example because I write first file. If you are working about interviews, I would recommend you to write interviews one, interview two or three, etc. If you are working about articles, I would recommend you to write a real good name in order that you can remember what is the file talking about when you see the title. So just choose a good name and then press on OK. And then you can see that this window is still open. So I will just write again the some random text and then I would press on the other button save and close and then I just write second file and press on OK and here you see the window close. So now I've got my two files and if I press two times on this one I've got the windows who opens and if I press two times on this one I have also the windows who opens here. Uh, in any case you can press here with the right click and you can write edit selected files and then if you go here you just edit it first so I just write this one and I will save the file close if I click two times on it you can see that I saved the file here because the first appears here so for sure uh, you can uh, also import a file so Let's take an example. Uh, I will just uh, go to the browser. So here is my file. So I call it test, test RQDA. I'll just create a new file that I will uh, just say that the name is test.txt. And I will just open the notepad. And I will just write this file is called uh, test.txt and I will just add some random text. So for sure, uh, if you are working, uh, the text you will add is a real text, is not a random text. So that's obvious. Okay, so now I will close it. And now I will just uh, use the import button. So just press on here. 
and then I choose the location that's to say uh, where is my file is on just let me remember on netting and then on yeah on desktop sorry and after on ArcUDI test and as you can see I can import text file here so actually do not import word files so microsoft word do not import any word file i would recommend you to import only a text file so not any files related to open office to to microsoft office or uh, to LibreOffice. so just choose a, a real pure text file because it's better in order to get a uh, the, uh, your file recognized by RQDA and then press on OK. And by the way, if you have a PDF uh, text file, I just recommend you to underline the, the, the PDF text and then to copy it on Notepad on the, or directly on RQDA. But you cannot import any PDF file or any file like that. So just press OK. And now you see that I imported this file. I will press two times on it. And now this file is imported. And what you have to understand is that on RQDA, everything will be saved into uh, the, the folder RQDA. So let's just do a test. You remember here I created this text. And now I will just uh, say, uh, I changed information. I change informations, well, whatever, and then I will just save it. But you will see that I just change it on the text file and not on the directly on the RQDA. So if I go here and press two times on it, you can see that it didn't change anything. So it means that all the file you will import will be saved into the RQDA files, but not inside the file you imported. So let's do another test. We'll just modify uh, this test file. So just edit it. And here I will just write uh, edit inside RQDA. I will save the file. And as you guess, if you edited inside RQDA, the edition will happen inside RQDA, but not inside here. If I, op if I click two times here on test, you can see on that window that this line is still here, this new line. But if I open the other files, you can see that I've got this line, but I don't got the line edit inside RQDA. So that's to say that the files you will import are totally, will be totally uh, independent. That's to say they will not be related to the file you imported anymore. So this is very important to understand in order to, to understand uh, the concept of RQDA. Okay, so let's continue. If I created a new file, so just create a file, I will save and close, just give some, some, some random name. If I'm not happy with this file, I can just delete it. So I press on delete. And then, if I'm sh uh, are you sure you want to delete? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. And then I delete this file. <coughs> um, after, you've got some other options, such as rename. Okay. So I press on rename. And then I can rename the test. And let's call this one uh, test renamed. And press OK, and you see that I renamed the name of the folder. After, you've got still uh, many options, such as the memo. So this is a memo, so I will, I can, I can do one memo for this file, actually one memo for each file. So just do a memo for the first file. Sorry, I press on memo here, and then I have the memo which open, and I will just write this is a memo for the first file. Then I will just save it. And I will create this memo, create, click on memo, and I will just create a memo. 
for the second file and you can see that here it's written the name of the memo file so uh, this is the memo for the second file so you know for which file you do the memo and I will just write second file and you can save the memo and this is uh, you can see this is the memo for test renamed this is the memo for the test uh, renamed yeah, let's do like this and then if you want to read the memo just click on memo and then you see that this is the memo for the first file if I go on that and click on memo uh, click on memo and then this happens this is the memo for the second file I go on the third file and you can see that this is the memo for the last file so you have to understand that uh, you can do one memo for each file and basically you can write some it's like a note personal note like a post-it for yourself so you can write whatever you want but I would really recommend you to do uh, a memo that is related only to the file so for instance if you want to to talk about uh, the, the global project as we said before you should do a project memo because this is related to the project so do not mistake if you do a project for the files this is only related to the file for instance I don't know I will just give you a kind of silly example but let's say that uh, you, you you did a lot of interviews and the second interviews you couldn't do the interview on the way you wished because uh, the speakers had a dog and the dog was bark barking all the time he was making too much noise so you can just write uh, uh, this uh, uh, I don't know the dog of uh, Joe let's suppose that Joe is the name of the guy who made the interview with you uh, was making too much noise so basically you can write what you want on memos and actually I do not want to say to you that you have to write that kind of information or that kind of information I'm just explaining you how this software is working so I'm guessing that you already uh, know what kind of memo you can write uh, according to the project you are doing so I will just let you decide to write your memos but what you have to know is that usually uh, if we do those kind of analysis we are uh, usually people are, are writing memos so do not hesitate to write memos this is the last uh, there is two last button so this is only to open the file so you can either press two times with the mouse one two then it's opening but if you don't want you can just press here on open and it's doing exactly the same personally speaking I just press two times with the mouse but if you prefer going here and pressing open up to you last uh, uh, bottom last but not least is the bottom attributes but we will talk about this later as you can see if I'm pressing right now nothing happens uh, this is because we have to create attributes and so on uh, it's a kind of a special uh, option which is very useful by the way but I will not uh, introduce you uh, this one on this uh, on this uh, video so you will need we will go later on on the next videos about it okay so now actually I, I've mentioned almost everything but just one single stuff is that is very specific if you are if, if you if you are used to other software such as Microsoft Word for instance is that you don't have any go back button so if you if you want to go back you cannot go back you, you don't have anything to go back so this is a kind of, of, of special uh, of special software if you are not used to to to, to exotic software I would say is that you don't have any bottom go next go back and so on and this is quite uh, uh, this shouldn't be annoying but maybe if you've done a kind of big mistake and can't go back this is quite annoying so usually uh, I'm using for a long time this software so I didn't do any mistake but really if you do a mistake you can't go back and how can you manage it so you can manage it by doing backup so I will explain you how the backup is working I will just go here and here is my um, the name of my folder is called test new project so this is my folder is here 
So now what I will do is just close the project and I will open it again. And this is what I'm doing all the time when I'm working on a project. When I'm going on, uh, how to put that window on the same size, yeah, like this. So if I open a new project, that's what I will do. I will open a new project, so the same one. Uh, desktop, uh, RQDA, test new project. And before to do anything, every time I'm opening a new project, I'm doing a backup. So I will just press backup. And you can see that here I did a backup. If I press again, I'm doing a new backup. Uh, oh, sorry. Here it's the message succeeded, so that was working. And if I'm creating again a backup, you can see that a new folder has been created here and it succeeded. So this is very, very important in my opinion, is that when you are opening a project to make some modification on it, not to, 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 not to do retrievals, but to modificate something, to make any modification, before to do everything, I would strongly recommend you to press on this backup project. So have the natural reflex when you open a new project click on backup project in order to be sure that you, you 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 will have a backup folder and this is working like this actually you can see that this is the first backup i've done and this is the second backup i've done uh, by the way if you're confused with that uh free command there actually it's just an explorer so i can open the same stuff on a classical windows explorer so you can see that this is the same stuff so I don't really like the Windows Explorer, I use Free Commander, but anyway, if you wish, <coughs> it's the same kind of stuff. So you can see the same folders are here. So it's just a different Explorer, but let's go on here. So actually you see that this is the new project I've created here, and this is the first backup and the second. So the backup, you have to understand it like this because there is numbers. So this was done in 2012 on June, 23 of June 2012 and here you've got the hour so I've done this at uh, 1 hour 58 and 12 seconds and here I've done this backup the 23 of June 2012 at 1 hour 57 minute and 60 uh, 56 seconds and basically if everything is working nice, uh, if you don't do any mistake and if everything is going well, every time you will just have to open this folder. So I will just close it and go back uh, on this one. I will just close the folder, close the project and I will open again the same one. So just go here, just go here. And here I will never open the backup project. I will just open this one. I'm always working on this one and I will only, only open the last backup I've made. That's to say the last one. So usually it's by order because you can see that the last one is here. So I will just open a backup when I did a mistake on this folder. But as long as I'm not doing any mistake, I'm just opening uh, this folder without the backup. So just open a backup to restore if you did a mistake on this folder. And just to backup to, to make sure that you, you, you did backup. And as you can see, uh, it's only text folder actually. And inside this folder, there is all my interviews, uh, all my files, all my codings, etc. And this is just a duplication on it. But as you can see, you can make a lot of duplication and usually you have a nice computer with uh, a lot of space on the hard disk. And as you can see, do not hesitate to make backup because it's almost nothing. You can see it's even less than one uh, MO. So it's just 30.0 KO. And even if I open that folder, so just open another one, test RQDA. This is another folder, which a lot of files, you see a lot of files, and a lot of codes, but even if I've done a lot of things, the folder is very, very, very unheavy. So make a lot of backup, 
I'm sorry I'm very insisting about it, but this is very important because if one time you make a mistake, this may not happen, this may never happen, but if you've done a mistake, you've got a, a backup a project. So once again, once you open a project, you just open the normal project. And then you just open this one and then you just make a backup and the backup succeed and then you work normally on the on the folder. That's just what you should do. And uh, that's all. So I hope I was clear enough about how to make a new folder. Uh, by the way, uh, if you can also you can just go to if you are working on articles on internet articles to make an analyze about internet articles you can just write uh, just go on google news hmm, nice doodle hmm, i should try it later whatever um just going on actually any website and just what i want to say is that uh, if you are interested to make any uh, analysis about i don't know articles that you can't find on the web do not hesitate just to make like this copy and then you go back here just create a new and just paste the text you can see here you can paste and also doing a lot of stuff and you can e even change the input method to change the characters but usually it should be okay uh, maybe if you are working in kind of specific language you may need those settings. I just let you uh, be curious and just check it. But on my side, I'm working about English language and French language, so I don't really need it. But maybe one time you will you will need to to do it. Then just save the project, and uh, and that's done. So okay, so I think I've I've talked enough about how to make a file. If you've got any question, do not hesitate once again to 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 send me an email or even better just to um, just to send me an email at this address kaliscan.metin at gmail.com i mean even better if you want to send me a private message but if it's a public message it's also good because everybody can see uh, your question and it may help a lot of users because maybe i forget to specify something or maybe your question was nice or I've done a mistake, I don't know what. So yeah, please write some comments. It's very nice for the other users. Thanks a lot for watching. I invite you to check the next videos. Thanks a lot. Cheers.